What is going on guys? Today we have got a brand new player review. It is the second inform Caliguri coming up next. <laughs> So we have the second informed Caliguri. He has a few other versions as well. Obviously, he has an 80 rare gold card from the very start. He has an 81 UCL. He has an 83 inform. And he has two 85s, which is one of them we are doing. And the other one is the League SBC. So you can pick Caliguri up for about 37k um, on Xbox and then about 35 for PlayStation. So to be honest pretty much near discard when i say discard i mean for what he's worth that's probably the lowest rate the lowest price you're gonna get maybe could drop to 30 potentially by the end of the week but personally i think that's a pretty low price he's an 85 rated in form so he is usable in the in the sbcs if any do come out um and obviously he is italian as well so he's a good linkage linkage player to anyone in the italian league uh, when doing these SBCs. So, the player information on him. We have got a 3-star skiller, 4-star weak foot, 6-foot right-footed, medium-medium, Italian right wing back, right back, anything from Schalke, Bundesliga. So, what do I take from that? Personally, 6-foot, not that bad. It's alright. It's a good it's good height. Um, personally, it doesn't really matter with the right backs per, uh, for what the height is, as as I think, I don't really see many balls going in the air to them. It's mainly wingers coming down. The three star skill moves not really too fussed. I like the four star weak foot. Obviously, he's right foot is right footed as well, so he can catch the inside a little bit better than normal. I don't think I've seen any top player as a, a wing back or right back, left back with five star weak foot. I, I'm not too sure if there is any, so that'd be interesting to see. So. Going into some basic attributes on this card, he has 83 pace, which entails an 81 acceleration with 83 sprint speed. He has 84 dribbling with 84 reactions, 86 ball control, and 85 dribbling. Then he has he has an 81 shot as well, which is really nice. So he's got 82 attacking positioning, 83 shot power, 86 long shots, and he also has 90 penalties. So potentially he d takes penalties for his team, um, or is one of them that takes good penalties. I'm not too sure with the Bundesliga. Then we have 83 passing overall, which gives him 83 vision, 91 crossing, 83 short pass, and 85 curve. His defensive stats are probably... Well, it's not. Well, actually, technically, it is the worst out of all of his stats, which is very surprising from this card. He only has a 76 defending with 81 interceptions, 74 marking, 77 standing tackle, and 72 sliding tackle. Um, and then just to quickly round it off, he has 78 physicality with 88 stamina, which is really nice. Um, and then also has 72 strength with 76 aggression. Overall, in-game stats, he has 2,311, which is actually somewhat okay. It seems to be a lot of players, like I always say, most of them stay around the 2, two 3,000 to 2, 4,000. And then obviously you get them players that exceed that who are normally quite good in the game. But where do we stand with this review with Caliguri? So... As you could already tell, the defensive stat isn't incredible. It it isn't terrible. Like it's not it's not low seventies. But to be honest, I'd I'd actually prefer it if it was maybe pushing up towards maybe low eighties. Um, I think that would make his defensive style a little bit better. He obviously has medium medium work rates, which again means that it's kind of balanced. Personally, I like the wing backs to be quite fast, have a lot of stamina, which he do he does. Pace isn't the greatest, but I'm, I'm so used to these 90, 89 pace defenders that they're kind of getting brainwashed into me that that's what's the only thing that's good. So I don't think this card's bad for pace. I, I think definitely he is a little bit of a downgrade compared to, to some of the others that I've been doing recently, but it isn't all terrible. Defensive wise, like I said, isn't the greatest, but meh, we it could be a lot better. Shooting wise, he's okay. I think he's not he's not greatest. Like, don't get me wrong, he's only got 81, but it's it's somewhat okay if you've got a shot on goal because a lot of the times the ball flies over, goes to that left back or right back who's running running down the wing with you, and maybe he gets a pop shot off, and that's where you're gonna need it. To be honest, that's like with me, I have I used Walker quite a lot, and to be honest, I don't I can't remember his shooting, but. 
he did manage to score a few. So that is the positions that I do like to get them in as well. It's not every game. It's not every five games. It can be here and there that sometimes you get there. You get them and you want them to be able to have that in their locker. Crossing wise on this card, very, very nice. He has 91 crossing overall as well as 85 curves. So again, really, really good with the passing and the crossing. So I like that element of this card. Very much uh, playing balls down that wing and then crossing the ball as well. And then obviously we do have some nice dribbling as well. He only has 79 composure, but realistically with a right back, I'm not really taking people on as they don't have that in, my, in, in the locker, to be honest. Unless you like the 90 rated plus... They don't have that, and I wouldn't expect them to. So overall-wise, I think defensive definitely could do a lot of work. Attacking is all right. I'd say the attacking is better than the defending. Um, and then dribbling and passing, I'd say, is pretty adequate. I'd be I'd be pretty happy with this. If you're getting a low-budget, say, Bundesliga team or an Italian team, definitely stick him in. I think he's, he's worth the coins. He's only 37k, and that is really minute compared to some of the players in the game. So if you are getting a road to glory or something like that, he's, he's pretty average all round. I wouldn't say he's, he's a top player um, in any sense, but... Is probably worth the coins that you're paying for him. For 37k, it's a not bad second in form, to be honest. For an 85 rated, that I'd be pretty happy with it. But, like I say, there is plenty of other players uh, for choice around that around that price. I'm pretty sure Walker's near, near that price as well, and he is absolutely solid. But, the overall review we're going to give him is a 7.4. I thought, I can't be too harsh on him because he actually is okay. But I just wanted to, to lower it that much that you realise that he is only average. And personally, if I was picking him up, if I was going to say invest in him, I'd say invest in a road to glory with him or an Italian team. Uh, because I don't think there's much else there. Because obviously, the Florenzi in form is, or the UCL live, whatever it is, um, is, I think, what, 140k more. So if you're making a budget squad... Definitely try him out. So let me know down below what you think of him. Let me know if you've used him or any other versions of him. Um, if you've used the League SBC one, definitely put that down there. See how it compares to mine. Um, I don't know if there's much of a difference with him. Um, I think there's a couple of stat differences and that's about it. But make sure you like this video. Can we get 10 likes on this video review? And we'll be bringing out another one later on today. And then we'll keep plowing on with them. Team New Week 19. So make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all again next time. Peace.